lot of my work is somewhat confidential, but in, in general terms, um, there's a lot of big data out here, right? We can store amounts of data that 20 years ago we wouldn't have been able to imagine storing. And so um, we have traditional statistical models that have been used for decades or 100 years, and we want to know how can we apply those models on massive data sets where computation is maybe no longer feasible. Can we split up the data set? Can we make it smaller and compress it? Can we do other things to make it computationally more manageable? We're tackling many, uh, we're tackling many uh, real world problems. One of them is that we're trying to assess whether biomarkers in prevention studies can be obtained in a cheaper way, more convenient way, or in a more expensive way. I work on um, statistical climate modeling, so um, like spatial analysis of uh, different climate effects. So one of them is sort of looking at how loss of sea ice is driving changes in bottom temperatures, and that affects forage fish, well forage like small crustaceans in the ocean, and how that affects different fish that we live on. So there's like a billion dollar industry of uh, fish landed in Seattle and multi-billions multi of dollars of fish that we all eat and those are being impacted by climate change. It gives me a chance to interact with other people in my field. I am in a very small town in Texas, College Station, where I, I really only see people in my department and that's it. And so this just gives me a chance to meet other people, see up close what they're doing, not just people in uh, College Station or in Texas, but people all over the world, um, and see if there's anything that, um, that they're doing that my work can be applied to or vice versa. I've been coming to all these sessions where people look at similar problems and in terms of calibrating different measurements and how they uh, assess the relationship between the biomarker and, and study outcomes in the same context. I was invited by a, a, a great spatial statistician. I've given a talk later today. I actually just uh, released a, a, a textbook, uh, Spatial Temporal Models for Ecologists. And, um, you know, natural resource management is sort of a small field, and so we have to borrow techniques from, from other parts of statistics.